Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Uh, hello, teacher. Good evening. How, how are you tonight? I'm fine. I finished the platform. You finished the platform. Great. Yeah, but I have a doubt. Doubt? Doubt? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, to some exercise. About some exercises? About, yes, about some exercises. Okay. We will be we will be covering um, those doubts on each part of the exercises actually tonight. We will okay. review. We will review each one of the exercises tonight. That's the main purpose of today's tonight's le lesson. Okay. And what about you? I'm just tired. <laughs> Yeah, but it's Thursday. <laughs> it is Thursday, yes. I mean, like Friday, right? Yeah. You uh, you rest on the weekend? Did you Are rest? We, do you rest on the weekend? No. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. No, I didn't. I had to do a lot of things about the bathroom that they're repairing. Ah oh, yeah, that's crazy. My house is is full of dust. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. Good. My house yeah. is a mess. Hi, good evening, Madeline. Max, good, good evening, evening buddy. classmates. Great. Hi. Good evening. I'm glad to have you back, guys. Tonight is our last lesson. Today is the last class. Yes. In the year. Yes, teacher, and going to be the, the last of the last for me. Why? I I don't know. I I I, I don't know. How to say um, fighter. I be. How do you say? Fired. Good my my. Your job. I don't your, know. Are yeah. you quit? You're quitting I your job. I lost my job. You lost your job. Yes, I quit my job. Mm. Yeah. You don't sound like. I don't know, like sad or depressed about it. Are you okay? Uh, because, yeah, I don't know. Was, um, um, I don't know. Say, I, ya lo procesé, I don't know. Say, <laughs> I, I already, I already swallow it. I already swallow it. Are you looking for a job? Are you looking for a job? I work in ONG and uh, no G. I don't know say in NGO, English. NGO, 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 NGO. NGO, but for the pandemic, uh, could the uh, Google? Uh, hmm. uh, could in the Google? The say. budget. Google, the, the bud budget. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. And okay. now I am looking for a new job. Oh, don't worry. You will find a job. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure. I, I hope. <laughs> well, think about it as a vacation, you know, because it's Christmas. Yeah. So that's good. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Teacher, but sorry, sorry, I have a question. I yes. can pay English corporation, corporative for I myself. That's a that's a question for administration, and I okay. think I think there is an option. No to pay. There is an option to pay, but I don't know. <laughs> that's an administrative okay. question. Okay, guys, where were we? <laughs> where were we? No. Last thing we talked about yesterday was the future. In the future continues, right? The future continues. Okay. So can somebody give me an example of the future continues? I will be in better joke. Mm. 
I will no. be, I will be. And this is what everyone is doing. You're forgetting the ING. I will be getting a new job next month. Ah, uh, yeah, it's present continuum. Yeah, okay. Future, it's future, future continuum. Continuous. I will be getting a new continuum. job. Okay. okay, Max? I will be getting a new job. Oh. Um, in 50 oh. years, there will be a cars flying all over the country. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that present continuous? I mean, future continuous or simple future? There will be cars flying or flying cars. You can say it that way. There will be cars flying all over the world. Because I'm using cars will uh, be flying. There, there is, there are. Yeah. Cars will be flying all over the world. Cars, oh, okay. will, cars will be flying, the subject, right? You use cars as the subject, but you can also say it that way. There will be cars. Very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. Madeline, can you give me an example using future continuous? Yes. I will, I will meet you next year in the I, Institute. I will be? I will be meeting a, you? meeting you next year in the institute what institute oh in the academy oh yeah academy <laughs> great yes, I, yes. I started yeah i i started there last year okay hopefully Saturday yes. and sunday oh okay. my god I'll, i will be praying i will be praying to go back to live classes I will be praying to go back to live classes. I need to be again on the street. You have no idea. I need to go back to the street, you know, and have that emotion of driving around the city, you know, from one class to another. <sighs> I miss that. Okay. Ah, you will not be in the, in the academic next year? I don't know. No, right now we don't have live classes. We only have virtual classes. So I'm telling no, you. I would like to meet in you. Yeah, I mean too. I would like to see present, you. Pre present. Present. In person. I give, I give my hand. <laughs> I give you my hand. And no. I give, and I, no. <laughs> no, social distancing. Ah, yes, I remember. No, I thought, I, I, I think in. I think. Good. Okay. I will be meeting you. Nineve, give me an example using future continuous. I will be. Oh. You will be. Uh, <laughs> I will be working in my home next month. Perfect. I will be working from home at home in oh. my house, in my house, in my home. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my house. My house, perfect. <laughs> That's better. Great. I will be working. Okay. Vadi. Good evening. Hello. Hey, give, give us... Good evening. Good evening, Vadi. Can you give us an I'm example? I'm in the platform. Sorry. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait for it. Wait. We're about to do that in just a few minutes. Okay. Vadi, can you give us an example with future continuous? I will be doing the dinner for my husband. I will be. No, I will. Be, no, I will doing without B. I will doing the mm. dinner for my you, husband. You will be. You you were okay. You were okay. I will be doing. No, I will be preparing. I will, I will be, be preparing. cooking. Excellent. I will be cooking. Uh huh. For my the husband. Dinner for my husband. <laughs> Perfect. That, okay. that is that is true. It is true. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Great job, Daniela. Give us an example. Good evening. Good evening. I will I be think of all in future is one of the easiest. Yeah, it is easy. Danny, I'm sorry. I will be living in other country. In another country. I will be in living country. in another country next year in five years in five years perfect okay 
So I, I hope you got it clear. Don't forget after will be, you need a verb in present participle, ing. I will be jumping, I will be sleeping, I will be drinking, I will be smuggling, I will be scratching, I will be seeing, whatever you want to say, okay? Now, let's move on with that topic because we're still missing one structure. So what you said was future simple, future continuous. Now let's talk about future perfect, okay? The example on the video was within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness, a cure for baldness. Hmm. Do you think in 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness? Hmm. What am I saying? No. Is, no? Okay. No. Now, no. If, you, if you notice... Maybe if that happens, I will be bald already. I will need that. <laughs> a wig. <laughs> you will need a wig. That's true. Okay. So if you notice, it's called present perfect because it respects the structure of the present perfect. So after the future will, you have the auxiliary for the present perfect have, right? Remember, have, and then the verb in past participle. Okay. Now look at the use of this tense, use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Let's look at the second example. By 2015, and this is very used by, by 2015, we will have set up human communities on Mars. We will have set up human communities on Mars. Okay. Can somebody try to translate these two sentences? First sentence. Which one? The last first one. one. Yeah, the first two. The first one, within 20 years, scientists will have discovered the cure, a cure, okay. I'm sorry, for baldness. Mm -hmm. eh, dentro de 20 años, los científicos habrán descubierto una cura para la calvicie. Perfect. Y para el año, para el año 2050, uh, habremos establecido comunidades humanas en Marte. Exactly. So you're saying habremos, habrás, habré, habré, habréis, habrá. Okay. Is that clear? No. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, I was thinking. Think. I can use will with have. Can How I would use... you call that tense? Will with have. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, but how do you call that tense? That's impossible. That will call you. I will mm. simply call it future. No, that's impossible. You cannot say future. Future past perfect. That that doesn't exist. No. I will that, look for it, but you can use it in Spanish. How will you do it? Mm -hmm. Teacher, a question. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. In 20, 20 years, for example, in Spanish, it would be something like, in 20 years, I will have traveled. Oh, that's another. <laughs> that's the one you're using, friend. In 20 years, I will have had traveled. We will have had, oh, okay. No, I was just thinking, was. Could keep going, <laughs> try, try. <laughs> Give me another sentence, this is interesting. In 20 years, I will have had traveled around the world. Twice already. I will look for it on the internet. Yeah, because 
think about it. You cannot mix yeah. the future I have a question. with the past. You cannot predict a past yeah. action in the future. Mm. You're getting into, uh, right now, right now, you're walking on thick ice. Oh, wait, thin ice. Okay, be careful. <laughs> you're walking on thin ice. I have ice. a question. Okay, first Madeline and then I have Veronica, I think. Go ahead. Uh, my question is, um, will mm -hmm. is, to, is future, mm -hmm. but hard and tall is past. And then I don't understand in this in that this was just a possibility Adelina Araya. <laughs> you are writing mm -hmm. a future and past yeah we were just discussing the possibility can you see the google tra translator on your screen yeah yeah do you see what i just wrote en 20 años habré dado la vuelta al mundo dos veces Mm, ni siquiera lo traduce. Ah, yeah. Ni siquiera lo traduce como lo pensamos, Max. In 20 oh. years I will have had. Mm. Uh, you Pass, you uh, write you have have in the same have have travel. Look at look at this. Look at this. I will have had. It's a little bit confusing, but we will have had. Yeah, it's very confusing. So, but this is a good exercise for you to come up with more ideas on how to structure from Spanish to English. This is a great exercise, mixing, mixing things, which is what we're doing. Okay, let's move on. So we're talking about future perfect. Can somebody help me? Oh my God, hold on, delude. I have a phrase. I'm sorry, wait. Veronica, you had a question. <clears throat> hmm. Veronica, did you have a question? I thought about yeah. that word. I, I heard that word in my mind right now and I wanted to remember what was it, delude, engañar, engañarse, eludir. Okay. Yeah, teacher, I was thinking about the word hubiera. Had. Uh huh, but in English, hubiera. Ah, okay. Well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That is called uh, perfect models, Veronica. Ah, okay. To express, to express regret, to express regret, uh -huh. para expresar remordimiento. Okay, I would have told you, I would have told you. Habría, te hubiera, te habría, te habría dicho. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you. No problem. Okay, let's go. Can somebody help me with the structure and positive for the future perfect? I subject. Have a, subject. Uh, an example. Okay, subject, uh-huh. Uh, will. Mm -hmm. Have or has. Wait. Mm, no, it's always have. Ah. Uh, Ah, yes, it's true, it's true, it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pass participle verb. I'm going to write it all. Past participle verb. Let's call it PPV, okay? Past participle verb. Mm -hmm. Compliment. There you go. Okay, now let's go with the negative. Thank you, Veronica. It was awesome. Madeline. Okay, I have a, a phrase. In October. Wait, wait, wait. 
give me the structure for a negative sentence ah, using okay. the future um, perfect. Uh, subject okay. plus will have not. Hmm. Will not have. Won't. Won't Won. have. Won. Very good. Will will not have. Very good, Madeline. Mm -hmm. Will not have or. Will not have. Let's say plus, past participle, mm -hmm. plus, uh, and um, I, don't, I don't remember. The compliment. And, uh, compliment. Excellent, Madeline. Thank you. Danny, can you help us with the question? Um, want, hmm. want have, hmm. or or impossible. Ah, will have plus subject plus past participle plus the complement. Okay. What do you think, guys? Uh, no. Will the the subject, subject is misplaced? Yeah, the subject the is misplaced. Will subject. Exactly. Same as we did yesterday. Remember, mm -hmm. in a question, the subject comes after the auxiliary. Will you have gone by the time Will I have come? Have okay. Gone. Now let's do examples. Okay. Let's go okay, with the positive. Okay, I have my example in Thank the you. first. Okay, is it positive or negative? Possible. Positive. Positive. Okay. I have it. In, in October 2021, my students uh, will have learned all my topics. In my school, learn it. Learn it. Not learn it. It's, it's not learned. Learn it. All my all the topics. Yes. It's both. Okay. It's learned. Okay. Yeah. It's both are okay. Learned or learned. T learned. 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 Perfect. Learned oh, all the learned, topics. Learned. Okay. Good. The, yeah, that, that's an example. Uh, can somebody translate that sentence? Other than Madeline, can somebody translate that sentence? Translate. Yeah, someone else. Try to translate Madeline's sentence. In October 2021, my students habrán aprendido todos los temas. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. Okay, let's go with negative. Let me see. Ninive, you haven't talked tonight. <laughs> okay. Mm. In 2020, 2021, my son won't have to. Uh, how, 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 what? <laughs> um, uh, how is studied, studied? Okay, one has studied. started. Online. Online. Thank you. Okay, in 2021, my son won't have started online Okay, by 2021, maybe, by 2021, my son won't have started online. Can somebody translate that sentence, please? <laughs> by is, by is for. Para, para. When, when I use for and, and by it, for, um, okay. Mm. You use for, before a year with a purpose. For 2021, my purpose in life, 
is to become healthier, to become thinner. Para el 2021, mi propósito en la vida es, okay, by 2021, same thing, para 2021, my son won't have started online. Can somebody translate that? Jarvin, Elvis, Danny, Vadi, Veronica, Max, Madeline. Para 2021, Para 2021 mi, hijo, mi hijo no, no habrá estudiado, habrá estudiado en línea. En línea. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Jarvin, can you try a question on Future Perfect? Okay. Will, will we have, will we have a spark? English as professional? Mm -hmm. By 2021? We have spoken English as professionals by 2021. Hmm. Okay, can somebody try to translate that question? What do you think, teacher, about the question? I don't know. You suppose you suppose we uh, will uh, spoke in English as well as you do? <laughs> yes. Next year? <laughs> it is all up to you. It's, huh? it's up to you. As well as you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah. It's the same as well as you? Uh uh. Depende de ti. It's up to you. Ah, oh, it's up to you, okay. Yeah, it's up to me, it's up to you. Okay, come on, can somebody translate that sentence, Jarvin's sentence? Elvis, Vadi, somebody. Hello. Okay, no tendríamos. Eh, acordate que will, vaya, yo quiero que entendamos esto. A que a have eh, lo está afectando will directamente. Will have. ¿Cómo traduzco eso entonces? El will have. Nosotros eh, tenemos. Eh, ¿Cómo quiero que me conjugues, eh, Elvis? El will have. El primero eh, sería. Eh, oye, eh, el, primer, el primero sería habré. I will have. Uh -huh. I will have. Abre. You will have. What will you have? Uh huh. I don't uh, like the way it sounds. You don't mm -hmm. like you don't like the way it sounds. Will you have? Will you have learned English by twenty twenty one? Okay. Would you yeah. have lost weight? In Perfect. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Will you have lost weight by the time I see you next time? Okay, so Elvis, let's move on. Yes. Will I have? Abre. Oui. Uh -huh. Abre. Will you have? Okay, let's help Elvis. Let's help Elvis. Will yes. you have? Yes. Will you have? Guys, Max, anybody? Anybody? Pero? Abras. Abras. Will, will he have? Él habrá. O simplemente habrá. Habrá. Mm -hmm. Will she have? Will she have? Habrá. Mm -hmm. Sí, habrá, pero se entiende que es ella, ¿no? Ok. Uh -huh. Will we have? Nosotros sabremos. O habremos. Habremos. Very good. Will they have? Ellos sabrán. Ellos sabrán. O habrán. <laughs> Will it have? Will it have? Habrá. 
Habrá de eso. Okay, if I ask you, will it have worked? Um, okay, by the time I come to pick up, oh God, I'm sorry, to pick up my car, will it have been repaired? Will it have been repaired? I ate the e okay, by the time I come to pick up my car, will it have been repaired? Okay. Now let's go with the first sentence. Will we have spoken English as professionals by next year? Can somebody translate that question, guys? I can't do it, but I don't like it how it sounds. No, you. go ahead, tell, go ahead. Habremos hablado inglés como profesionales para el próximo año. It's a possibility, you're predicting the future. You're guessing, you're guessing the future. You're guessing an action. Let me copy and paste that part because I liked it the way it sounds. You will not see your screen for a minute. As I'm opening paint, cutting and pasting. Okay, so again, we use this future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time in the future. We're missing here in the future. You use present perfect to predict actions that will be completed mm -hmm. by a certain time. So yeah. here you're guessing that an action will be completed by next year. Yes, Danny. Uh, can we say, will we have a ship Speak English. Mm, as will we have achieved our goal of oh, speaking <laughs> English as professionals by next year? Or not by in that case? Sounds better or not? Mm, yeah, it's another option. Will we have achieved our goal of speaking English as professional by next year? Habremos alcanzado nuestra meta de hablar inglés como profesionales el próximo año? O si se oye mejor. Y la anterior era? Will we have spoken? Will we have spoken? Habremos hablado inglés como profesionales para el, para el siguiente año? Ok. Yes. Grammarly proper. Ok. Now what about this? By the time I come to pick up my car, will it have been repaired? Mm -hmm. Pick up. Pick up. By the time I come to pick up my car, by the time I come to retrieve, I'm going to use that word. Pick up a car? Yeah, why not? By yeah, the time. It's correct, but yeah. so maybe. Like lifting. I'm confused. Yeah, you can get confused. I by the time I come to retrieve, retrieve my car. My car, will it have been repaired? Somebody try to translate that. Para el tiempo que venga yo a, para la hora que yo venga a reparar mi carro. Mm, mm, retrieve. No. Uh, Ret retrieve. What is retrieve? Recoger. Recoger Re mi carro. Estará, ha sido reparado. Estará, okay. estará reparado. Bien. Ahí está el punto. Tienen que hacer esa traducción en su, en su mente rapidito. Will have. Y era el ejercicio que hacía con Elvis. Will it have? ¿Qué quería decir will it have? Será reparado. Mm -mm. Habrá sido. Habrá Excellent. sido reparado. Aquí estoy diciendo habrá sido porque es el verbo to be. Very good. So, solo esto es habrá. Ok. 
Okay. Will it have been? Habrá sido reparado. Very good. ¿Para cuándo, Madeline? ¿Para cuándo venga a retirar? Para cuando venga. Ajá. Cuando a... yo venga a recoger mi carro, habrá sido reparado. Yeah. Estoy preguntando al mecánico, se lo estoy dejando en ese momento, right? Okay. Are we clear on that? No? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Okay, guys. Let's go with your favorite game. Um, take your notebook. Le voy a complicar la vida un poco porque voy a agregar algo que tienen que pensar cómo agregarlo, ¿ok? What we wanted to do to When translate? Yes, please. Take your notebook, take your pen, and try to translate a few sentences, just three sentences. Let's do it at once. <laughs> okay, let's do it at once. Try it. When you return at night, I will you come have, back? I will have sent the kids to the bed, for example. Hmm. How will uh, when you return at night? I will, I will have, have sent... put them to sleep. No, I will have put them. I will have to taken the kids to, to the children. bed. To guys, put oh, them no. to sleep. The kids, I sleep I the kids. <clears throat> You know what? Let's do something else. <laughs> write all <laughs> the sentences. <laughs> yes. Write all the sentences, and while we are trying to translate them, you play the guitar for us. Uh, I don't have my guitar here. <laughs> oh man! I I broke it. Huh? Yeah, I got too excited one of these days, and I just <laughs> smashed the guitar against the floor. <laughs> You're kidding. No, it fell from the from the wall. It fell from the wall. Yeah. Too bad. Okay, let's let's try it. Go on your notebook. Try as much as you can. Don't use the translator. Try as much as you can. Okay. When you return at night, I will have already slept the children. Not yet. I will not wait. I know the word entrepreneur, entrepreneur. I didn't know that. I don't know how to spell that word. Entrepreneurship. 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 Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, no. <laughs> don't go that far. Entrepreneurship.
the second one. Okay, write it. Write it down. I tell you. Not yet. Wait. Not yet. <laughs> don't tell that. <laughs> Me habré divorciado. Don't, don't say that. that. Don't, don't say don't that. Tell that. Don't Your wife. Say, don't say that. Repeat. Don't say, that. don't say that. Madeline. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. The chair can I try the third one? The, the second one. Okay, Madeline, you go with the first one. Daniela goes with the second one. The third one. Oh, the third one. Okay, Daniela goes yeah. with the third one. Who, who's who's in for the second one? Listen to this question. Okay, then the number one. Me. Listen to this question. Who's in for the second one? Who's in? I'm in, but I don't know how to. You got it. I'm in. How to pronounce? How to pronounce the last word? Don't worry. Okay, Max goes with the second one. Okay, Madeline, you go with the okay. first one. What do you got? The first one is, when you return at night, I will have already slept the children. When you return at night, I will yes. have already slept the children. It's okay, okay, teacher. I don't know. Let's see. This is another way of practicing, guys. Challenging yourself in English. Okay. Is this proper translating? Is this properly translated? Is it properly yes. translated? It's Cuando okay. vuelvas por la noche, yo habré dormido los niños. Cuando tú regreses por la noche, Yo ya habré, ojo. Hmm. Yeah, yo ya habré dormido. You already. have that part. Okay, so the only difference is cuando vuelvas por la noche. Okay, cuando tú regreses. Okay, let's try to use the preposition by, as we saw before. See? By the time you return at night, I will have already slept the kids, the children. By the time. Eh, la traducción del inglés eh, debe de ser textual, chicos. Ojo con eso. Eh, en el sentido... By the time. Ok, eh, si te apegas a un libro, eso es lo que quiero decir. Si estás tradu traduciendo, digamos, y esto me ha ocurrido como profesor y les puede ocurrir más adelante cuando ya, bueno, ya les puede ocurrir, de hecho, que un amigo les diga, hey, mira, traducime este texto, traducime esta carta profesional, o sea, necesito esta carta para mi jefe, porque él no habla español, me puedes ayudar a traducirla, ok, y puede que resulte que esa carta tra traiga repercusiones, Y legales, legales, repercusiones legales. Y si tú tradujiste eso, te pueden llamar a corte. Ojo con eso. Si entre más textual seas, mejor, ¿ok? So, take a look at that. Translating, tradu la traducción es diferente a la interpretación. Translating is different than interpreting. So, cuando tú regreses. Hmm, para cuando tú regreses. Yeah, ok. Good. I will take that. I'll take that. Okay, number two. Who's who's in for number two? I mean, <laughs> thank you. Okay, let's go. By June 2021, I will have finished my entrepreneurship. I don't even remember how to spell this word. In English, there you go. Entrep entrep entrepreneurship, 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 entrepreneurship. Let's see. God. 
hate when that happens. Ok. Para junio de 2021 habré terminado mi emprendimiento. Yes. It's strictly translated. Ok. Entrepreneurship. Uh, tell, repeat, let's, please. Listen, listen, listen. By June 2021, I will have finished my entrepreneurship. 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 Come again, Max. I've been using a lot. Juglish. Uh, Juglish. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's try this one. This is here. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Okay, entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Repeat. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> That's the way you practice. This is the way you have to practice. I'm entrepreneur. I'm entrepreneur. Oh wait. I am. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I am an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, yeah, there's no this. You don't distinguish. You don't distinguish. Uh, what would it be? Gender. You don't distinguish gender in that word. Okay, good job. And last one. Who said, who said, I mean, for the third one? Me? Danny? <laughs> Okay, let's next see. Christmas, I will have gotten, gotten <laughs> divorced, and I will have both a new house. Perfect. Okay, next Christmas, Christmas. I know. You can say by the next Christmas. Mm. I don't know. Let's see. I love doing this. I say on the next. La próxima Navidad. Next Christmas. Me habré divorciado me habré comprado una casa nueva. I will have. Yeah, perfect. Now, I will have said. Veronica, I will have said. Next Christmas, I will. Now take a look at this. The okay. next Christmas, okay. or next Christmas. The next, no, next, next without the article, without the article. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, guys, I think you got it right. Yeah. Okay. Good. What time is it? Oh my God, it's 8.48 already. Okay, guys, I need your questions regarding our platform. Do you have any questions regarding our platform? Just we'll leave sure. it like that. I just reached 93%. Just. <laughs> Only that. 90. 90, okay. Who has reached... Um, uh, lower score, lower than 80. Has anybody reached a lower than 80 score? Maybe I should ask first, who hasn't finished the platform? Who hasn't finished the platform? I finished the, the platform. Okay, who has not? Beatriz? I have problem with the, the yes, I have a um, problem with the 1.2. 1.2 at the beginning? I don't know. 1.2. Yes. 5.8. Did you say 5.8? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 5.8 and then and Beatrice said 1.8. 1. 1. I'm sorry, 2. 1.2. Okay, let's do this 1. really quick. 2. 
I think at this point, all of you may have already finished all the exercises. So let's see, 1.8 for Beatrice. I can't remember if I already, no, I haven't solved this. 1.2. Oh, 1.2, I'm sorry. 1.2. Okay, oh, I already did it. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. 1.2, we were talking about read the comments in the restaurant. You may write your sentences with past participle or with nouns. Use the word in parentheses. Don't forget to type in a period at the end. Okay, this tablecloth isn't very clean. It has a stain. Oh, I'm sorry, it's stained. It is stained. Está, what is it? Está manchado, right. Okay, is leaking. Remember that you can also use the present participle in some verbs. So in all of these examples, you were supposed to use the verb to be and the present participle or the past participle adjective. Scratched, 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 is scratched. Is torn. Scratched. Scratched. Sorry. Okay. Scratched. Is torn. Is chipped. Is damaged. So, Teacher, I can chip in a different way. I can say I have a chip on my shoulder. Damage. You have a chip on your shoulder? Like a pimple? No. It's... Is it is translated like estoy resentido? Oh, like when your muscle goes turn, when you turn no. the muscle. Hmm. Your feelings. Oh, so is that is an idiom? Is it an idiom? I have a chip in my shoulder. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. I didn't know that. I have a chip in my shoulder. Okay. It's like when somebody doesn't let you be right. Cuando algo no te deja en paz, right? I have Something. a chip on my shoulder because you didn't play the guitar. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Every oh, class, God. every class students ask me to play the guitar, but no, I cannot do that on the class. Sorry. Okay. But, you don't, but you don't... teacher, if you sing, is you singing English? <laughs> that would be a good yeah. exercise, actually. I would love to do that for you, but I'm not allowed to do it in these classes. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, good. And Veronica said five point. I'm sorry, Beatriz, questions. No, teacher. Okay. Well, the number five, I put the same of you, but it's wrong. You mean? Cheap. Oh, number five, you, you typed the same. Okay, let's review if you have the dot. I'm sorry, the period. Let's check if you have a lower case or a capital letter instead of I. So it's chipped. I wrote, I wrote, has a chip. Oh, okay, it's chipped. Good. Now, you don't need the, the subject because you already have here. This cup is chipped. Has a chipped, mm, no se podría decir, tiene una rotura. Tiene una astilladura, right? Because this is like astillado, right? It's chipped, está rota. De... I, have, I have right. You have wrote it. Okay. Okay, you I have written. The... I... Yes? Uh, I, I have a question with the 5.8. 5.8, I think Veronica too. Veronica? For me, no, it's the middle exam. Uh, the final the, exam, sorry. The final exam. Part, the final exam part B. Okay. Let me go really quick with um, Madeline. What question do you have on 5.8? 5 5.8. 5 uh, my point is the, the one. The first one will take. Um, um, okay. In 10 years, flights from New, New York to I Tokyo. Still... Tomarán. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. 
Okay, now the instructions. Read the instructions, guys. It says you may use will, want, future continuous, or future perfect, which is what we were covering today tonight. We'll take will to sell. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. When the, the Lisa did not. Number three, yes. By the middle of 21st discovered. century, scientists will have discovered a way to prevent uh, aging. Will invent. Mm -hmm. That's yes. a simple future. We'll live on the moon and we'll have melted. We'll have melt. Melted. We'll have okay okay good now let's go with we only have five, five minutes let me go with um the the final exam okay final exam part yep. b part b it's always yeah. the typing it's always the typing part right yes okay correct the mistakes in each sentence or question, do you know where can I get someone to cut my hair? You know the answer? I tried, but I the all is wrong. It was always wrong. Do you know where can I get someone to cut my hair? Okay. Do you know where can I get some where I can get where I can get my hair someone cut do you know where can I get my hair cut try if that's nice is correct oh my god it's not allowing me to click submit what oh. I can get yeah I will that's what way I will say it remember where I can get, where can I get? I'm sorry, where or where I can get, that's the way, where I can get my hair cut. But the number three, where, when say Elisa, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't write. Okay. Do you know where Elisa, and have her yeah <coughs> I'm sorry her driver's license renewed what is the two teacher what is that? You can have you can have your car fixed at an auto repair shop. You can have your car fixed. You can have your car. <clears throat> yeah, it's the same thing. You can have your car repaired. At an auto, you will have your car fixed at an auto repair. Remember that this is a passive voice, right? Active versus passive voice. You can have your car repaired at an auto repair shop. It's basically the same. I don't know why I'm not able to click on the submit button. Yeah, it is submit the last day. Uh, this yes yeah it's it's not allowing you to uh, no no it's, the old, it's, the old, it's the old part the you old need to, part b you need to fill out the form i mean you need to fill it out completely okay i think that okay let, you know what? Let me cheat on this one because you already finished the exam. So let's take a look at the answers to see if I was right or wrong. Yeah, okay. you can have. Okay, number one. Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Where can I get my hair cut? 
Where can I, where I can get my haircut? Okay, no. Where can I get, where I can get someone to cut my hair? Where I can get someone to cut my hair? That doesn't uh, even Where sound. is the mistake? I don't know. Where's the mistake? No. Uh -huh. it's... Yo si la voy a dejar en blanco, <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> okay, that was the right answer. You know where I can get someone to cut my hair. Number two, you can have your car fixed at an auto repair shop. You all, all you needed to do was change the verb to the past participle, fixed. Okay. Okay, fixed. And I said, re why did I say repaired? I'm sorry. Fixed at an auto repair shop, okay. Do you know where Elisa can have her driver's license renewed? Do you know where Elisa can have her driver's license renewed? That was the right way. Just put ED on the verb and that's it. You can get... Yep. Ah, okay, okay. Shines. You can get your leather, 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 leather boots, boots shines. 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 This was very obvious. This was very obvious. Shines, no. Shined at Joe's mm -hmm. show, Joe's shoe shop. Joe's shoe shop. Joe's shoe shop. Okay. Wow. Joe's shoe shop. Okay. Coming up okay. with. Thank you. You already have these ones, right? This is very simple. The correct three three word phrasal verb. Okay. And <clears throat> we run out of time. Bien, chicos, espero eh, que completen esto a más tardar esta noche. Si tienen alguna pregunta aún, yo me voy a quedar hasta las uh, 11 esta noche porque tengo que seguir ahorita con otra clase. Ya tendría que estar en ella. Sorry. Eh, me mandan sus preguntas al chat y se las contesto a las 10 en punto. Ok, nomás termine. Empiezo a revisar el chat. Thank you. Ok. I give you... Uh, all the best the next year and I wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank and, you to all of you. <laughs> what? Happy New, I would like to... Happy New Year. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Madeline. We right. wish you. Bye. 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 Thanks Bye for teacher. everything. <laughs> for the last time, smile. Bye. 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 Bye.